I just want to say uh, thank you to Sages for the opportunity to present this work. I have uh, no disclosures. I'm the current bariatric fellow at Johns Hopkins. Um, so introduction, this is a uh, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is becoming one of the most commonly performed abdominal operations in the United States. With rising healthcare costs uh, and its inherent economic burden, safe and viable options to reduce these costs must be sought. We present our experience with same day discharge. This is without an overnight stay in the hospital after a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy on 821 patients uh, undergoing this procedure uh, from January 2011 to April 2015. Um, so this was a retrospective review of the medical record of all patients undergoing ambulatory laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy performed by a single surgeon at a standalone outpatient surgery center from January 2011 to April 2015. All patients in this series were discharged home the same day after surgery without an overnight stay in the hospital. Incidents of readmission to the hospital after discharge or readmission rates were evaluated uh, up to 30 days after the surgery. Patient selection for uh, the ambulatory center is uh, age between 18 and 65, males with a BMI less than 55, and females with a BMI less than 60. Max weight is 500 pounds for either sex. ASA score of less than four. Uh, patients must not have a history of renal failure, organ transplant, or significant cardi cardiac or pulmonary impairment. Patients must also not be on a transplant list, and they must be ambulatory. Our perioperative protocols. Um, once patients re reach the preoperative holding area, IV lines are placed. Uh, patients are infused crystalloid. Uh, we aim to give them a liter of infusion before the start of the case. Preoperatively, they receive uh, Pepsid and Reglan prior to the induction of anesthesia. Uh, in terms of DVT prophylaxis, they get uh, sequential compression devices before induction. Intraoperatively, they re receive eight milligrams of Decadron and Zofran. Um, the operation is performed by a, a laparoscopic vertically stapled sleeve gastrectomy using a 36 French bougie, uh, starting roughly five centimeters from the pylorus. All staple lines were reinforced with buttress material. At the end of the case, uh, all incision sites are infiltrated with 30 cc's of half percent uh, BPA obtained with epinephrine. No Foley catheters or drains are utilized. Um, patients are mon monitored postoperatively in the PACU for at least three to four hours and discharged once the following uh, discharge parameters are met. They must be tolerating bariatric clear liquid diet. Uh, they must be voiding spontaneously. Vitals must be within normal limits. Uh, pain score of less than five to 10. Uh, and they must be ambulating independently. Um, on average, patients are uh, ambulated up and out of bed after the surgery about 90 minutes uh, after the case. Uh, all patients are given three to four liters of crystalloid uh, prior to discharge. In terms of follow-up, patients are contacted 48 hours after the procedure uh, to gauge their progress and assess for signs of dehydration. In this series, only one patient had to be brought to the uh, clinic for IV and uh, crystalloid infusion. Um, a clinic follow-up is uh, scheduled at one week after surgery, and then they're followed up again at four weeks, three months, six months, nine months, 12, 18, 24, and yearly thereafter. So our results, um, 821 patients underwent the ambulatory sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, 579, uh, so 71% of these were female, 29% were male. Average BMI for the series was uh, 43. We had a total of 19 30-day complications, makes about 2.3%. 17 of them required admission to the hospital, we had 2.1%. Average BMI for the um, the 19 patients was 44. 74% uh, of these were female, 26% of these were male. Uh, two of the complications were managed in the outpatient setting. In terms of complications, we had uh, seven gastric leaks, which makes about 0.9% of total patients. 
uh, intra-abdominal abscess requiring percutaneous drain was uh, four patients, it was about 0.5%. Uh, um, dehydration, nausea, and vomiting was four patients, again, 0.5%. Uh, there were other complications as well, which accounted for 0.1%. Uh, they were all listed there. Uh, the surgical site infection and the intra-abdominal, one of the intra-abdominal abscesses were managed in the outpatient setting. Um, so, bariatric surgery is becoming uh, one of the most commonly performed outpatient surgeries, um, one of the most commonly performed surgeries, and the laparoscopic uh, adjustable gastric band historically has been the most commonly performed uh, outpatient surgery in that setting. Uh, readmission rates are an important marker for adverse events in healthcare, and they are used to gauge the quality of care we provide. Uh, so attempts to reduce patient care costs without compromising the quality of care is vital. Um, so readmission rates after bariatric surgery. In a study by Horgami uh, at Al, they reviewed about 35,000 patients in the ACS um, and SQIP database which who either went uh, sleeve gastric, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy or laparoscopic room wide gastric bypass. And the total readmission rate they found was 4.9%. Readmission rate looking at the sleeves alone in that study was 3.7%. The median time to readmission was about nine days. 44% of those readmissions occurred in the first week after surgery. And another study by uh, Berger et, et al. Um, they reviewed 130,000 patients undergoing bariatric surgery. They evaluated the MBSA QIP database. Uh, the overall readmission rate in that study was 4.4%. Uh, for laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy alone, it was 2.8%. The most common cause, according to these studies, uh, appears to be nausea, vomiting, and dehydration. Uh, recently, there has been a, a push towards enhanced recovery pathways um, and fast-track surgery to help mitigate problems associated with nausea, vomiting, and uh, achieve better pain control postoperatively. Overall, they aim to reduce uh, care costs and increase patient satisfaction. In a separate study by Horgami, um, they, uh, they were looking at fast-track surgery and its effects on discharge. They found that uh, patients discharged on post-operative day one versus the average of two to post-operative day two to three uh, actually did not really change anything, and it actually t trended towards a lower readmission rate of 2.8% versus 3.6% of those who were discharged later than post-operative day one. Um, these are some of their predictors of um, late discharge. Uh, Same-day surgery, only three studies are out there. Um, there's one by Rabibo and Badui. Uh, they look at gastric leaks. Uh, they, the gastric leaks was the most common cause of readmission for them. Uh, it was about 7%, 3.6% respectively. Um, there's another one out there that their um, most common cause for readmission was sleep apnea. Again, the most common cause in our series was a leak at, uh, was a leak at the staple line, which usually does not present until post-operative day four or five. So in conclusion, I'm running out of time, uh, the only seemingly preventable readmissions in our series that could have possibly been prevented by overnight stay in the hospital were the four cases of nausea, vomiting, dehydration. These only accounted for 0.5% of the total cases performed. Um, although unlikely, this also raises the question whether a leak would have prevented by an overnight admission stay in the hospital. With proper patient selection utilization, enhanced recovery pathways, uh, with a low, low overall readmission rate and complication profile, this portends the feasibility of uh, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy as a safe outpatient procedure.